My name is Patrick Johnson. I'm from Youth Radio. And how y'all doing this morning? Good. Okay. All right. So, Youth Radio is a media organization based out of Oakland, California. We work with young people between the ages of 14 and 18. We teach them radio broadcasting, music production, video production, and a thing that I enjoy called media literacy. So basically how to under, oh, someone, okay, a media literacy fan, good job. Um, <laughs> first time I've ever been somewhere where someone cheered about media literacy. Uh, but one of the things about media lit that's really cool is understanding how the media works. Uh, so I always say I have one of the coolest jobs in the world because the stuff I actually watch on TV, I actually get a chance to go to work and talk about. But today we're going to talk about some of the stories uh, of some of the young people we work with at Youth Radio. So uh, Brandon McFarland. Uh, Brandon's a real interesting uh, guy in the sense that Brandon works in our newsroom. He produces news stories for uh, places like National Public Radio, uh, Public Radio Inter International. Um, he's also an award-winning journalist. And he's a music producer. Uh, he produces under the name 10AK. And the way he became involved in youth radio, uh, he won't mind me telling the story because I'm going to tell it anyway. Uh, <laughs> basically, he saw a young lady walking down the street, and he followed her into youth radio. Um, <laughs> and once he followed her into youth radio, someone gave him an application, and he's been there ever since. Um, so actually, what I want to do is play a piece uh, from a commentary that Brandon I uh, did about the city of Oakland. This was post the Oscar Grant riots, so we'll uh, listen to a little bit of it. He's a hope so. Right forearm. Except I've added roots to symbolize my ties to this place and its people. There are so many things about Oakland to be proud of. I'm proud that the Black Panthers were founded here, that turf dancing thrives here, that our community college system is good and well attended, and that our music slaps. That's right, especially MC Hammer. So I think one of the things that Brandon was really talking about in this piece was finding beauty in a city that sometimes shows uh, that the rest of the world doesn't always see that beauty in. And I think a lot of us can relate to that. Uh, so that was one of the things that Brandon does. And I think one of the ideas around media is that you can produce media in a variety of different formats and a variety of different ways. So it's not just about writing commentaries. You also can do music. You also can blog. And really what we value at Youth Radio is being able to help young people get access to this technology. Another gentleman by the name of Pendarvis Harshaw. Uh, Penn is interesting in, in the sense that journalism has taken him to Ireland. Uh, he's done stories over there. Uh, one of the stories he actually did for National Public Radio, and he is also an award-winning journalist, was about how the usage of the N-word is global. And he kind of came to this realization because he was having a conversation with his, I think, two-year-old nephew, and this is what happened. And so on the lips of my baby nephew and his playmates, the word gets carried on into another lifetime of internalized depression. And now it's been warped, multiplied, and like an invasive species, even made its way to Africa. And he talks about really going to Africa and someone actually referring to him as that, and this being this eye-opening experience for him. I think one of the big things at Youth Radio is really understanding the multiple ways that you can utilize the media. Uh, to the point that we actually have an iTunes stream, uh, it's called Our All Day Play, and we curate radio shows from some of the best DJs in the Bay Area. Uh, and this is a stream that allows young people not only to be able to do journalism work at Youth Radio, but also allows them to be able to utilize music as a medium that they're interested in getting their point out there to the rest of the world. Uh, youth Radio is a multifaceted youth organization. So we have a young woman by the name of Susanna Vong who's worked at Youth Radio as a peer teacher. She currently works in our healthy food program. But she did a piece about America's best dance crew that, eh, I'll play a snippet of it for y'all. I'm a huge fan of the show. So, of course, I wanted to talk to my friends about it. One of the differences between the two that I've noticed, it ain't no, like, super old people dancing. But it be heck of old people singing old, boring music sometimes on American Idol. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I think American Idol has like an age limit of like 28, which means that they're old. Oh my gosh, what am I? Uh, so one of the reasons I think that now is such a great time to be a media producer 
is that it's so much cheaper to make media now. Now, keep in mind that there are about eight companies that really own media in this country, but understand you can use your Facebook page, your MySpace page, your blogging. And back in my day, which was so long ago, uh, you actually had to know someone who had a drum machine, and that would cost about $1,000. Now you can actually make music and make media using most of the software that comes on your computer. Uh, one of the things that we do at Youth Radio is really get young people to understand that they have a voice. We don't give folks voice, they already have a voice. What we try to do is give them an opportunity to amplify that voice. And as a young person making media today, you have so many distribution outlets. Do not let this time pass where you do not put your voice out there. Thank you guys so much.